There are 24 Democrats running for president. You heard that right, 24. But what do we know about them? Ha ha ha, that's why I'm here. It's Michael from the Loftus Party, brand new video. We're gonna quickly run down all 24 candidates and my opinion. Boom, 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 lightning round. <laughs> Let's begin, shall we? This is all opinion. We got Mike Bennett from Colorado. Mike Bennett, no one knows anything about you. Here's what I know about Colorado. Rocky Mountains, Coors Beer, weed's legal. <laughs> what do you stand for? And if you're chasing that weed vote, I wouldn't rely too heavy on it. Sometimes they have a, a habit of being distracted and forgetting to vote. Okay, Joe Biden. Joe, you're a professional politician. I think your days uh, are numbered. Your, your best days might be in the rear view mirror. Although, Joe recently said if he's elected president, he'll cure cancer. <laughs> Is that a promise or a threat? What happens if, <laughs> if you don't get elected? Hey, sorry, uh, now I'm not gonna cure cancer. Now, now your grandma has to die. <laughs> That's not cool, Joe. Cory Booker, no one likes you, Cory. Seriously, you try too hard. You're like, I am Spartacus. Ease it down, ease it down. You freak people out, you have no chance. Steve Bullock, Steve Bullock uh, from Montana. I don't know, that's a cool name. That's a tough guy name, President Bullock. They killed his wife, they killed his family. Now he's coming to be president. It's like an Arnold Schwarzenegger movie. I'm Steve Bullock and I'm here to be president. Get down. All right, Pete Buttigieg. First of all, no one knows how to say your name still. Pete Buttigieg, Pete Booty Judge, Pete Booty Gig, Pete, and okay, you were the mayor of like what, South Bend, Indiana? Big difference in being president and being the mayor of a small town in Indiana. When you're the president of the United States, it requires more than telling people, seriously, you gotta cut your grass, you guys, it's getting too high. Uh, Mr. Williams was con complaining. Yeah, and he's, you know how he gets, so come on, you guys. Pete, Pete Buttigieg is, is the, come on you guys, presidential candidate. That's his slogan. Pete Buttigieg, Pete Buttigieg for president. Come on you guys. All right, uh, Julian Castro. Here's the problem with Julian Castro. Who is in your name? Who, no one knows who you are. Who are you, Julian? Seriously, you're a mystery. Get out of the race now. You're gonna embarrass yourself. Bill de Blasio. Bill de Blasio. I lived in New York for a while. I was just in Manhattan. Things aren't going well, Bill. <laughs> Things aren't going well. When you step out of your apartment and you're just knocked back by the smell of hot garbage, maybe you're not the guy who should be running the, <laughs> the country. Okay, uh, somebody named John Delaney. John Delaney, uh, I loved your work in the show Frasier. Did you play Frasier's dad? Is that the Delaney? Am I thinking of the right Delaney? No one knows who you are. You might want to consider dropping out. Tulsi Gabbard, Tulsi Gabbard. Um, I guess she's from Hawaii, but she seems like she should be from Oklahoma. There's a weird disconnect there. Someone named Tulsi Gabbard, you should have like a, a lasso and a cowboy hat. <clears throat> It doesn't make sense to me. The things that don't make sense to me frighten me. Drop out of the race. Okay, uh, Christian Gillibrand. Christian Gillibrand, um, uh, you're the treasurer at America's PTA meeting. <laughs> I'm Christian Gillibrand, and I wanna read back the minutes from last week's meeting. That's, yeah, there, you, you seem a little, little pearl necklace-y. No, don't like it. Kamala Harris. No, no Kamala. Kamala used to lock up people for smoking weed. And then she goes on the radio bragging about how she used to smoke weed. Whoo! You can say a lot of things about potheads, but they don't forget stuff like that. And they hold on to that kind of anger. I'd be so pissed. I'd be so pissed if I was sitting in jail because Kamala Harris threw me in there for smoking weed. And then she's on the radio bragging about how she used to smoke weed. Oh! That's just mean. John Higginlooper. John Higginlooper. He's Bane from Batman. I'm John Higginlooper, and this bomb is mobile. President, President Higginlooper, it doesn't work. It just doesn't work. When I, when I hear it out loud, President Higginlooper. It's like a Marx Brothers sketch. I'm President Higginlooper, nice to meet you. Help me with the bags. You get the blonde, I get the brunette. No, drop out now. Jay Inslee, Jay Inslee. No one knows you. Stop running for president. Amy Klobuchar. 
Amy Klobuchar is the kind of person that uh, invites you to a Tupperware party, you forget about it, and suddenly you find yourself there. And you're like, oh crap, I'm stuck at a Tupperware party at the Klobuchar's. What happened? This is a nightmare. You gotta burp it. You gotta burp it. This one's for your celery. And you're like, screw it. I'll take it. Just get me out. No one... <laughs> You need, you need more than Tupperware sales, Amy Klobuchar. Who's else? Somebody named Wayne Messam. Wayne Messam, I don't know you. Maybe you're not Messam around. Hee-ha. Seth Moulton. Someone named Seth Moulton. You, your name? You have the name of a villain from the Harry Potter books. Right? Seth Moulton. That's a bad guy name from Harry Potter. I don't think you have a chance. Beto O'Rourke, you bug me. You bug me with the hand. Beto O'Rourke, he won't even be able to vote for himself. His hand, his hand won't be able to pull the lever. His hand works independently. Uh, someone named Ryan, I know nothing about you. So there you go. You might want to do something, take a stand, bust out of the pack. It might even be a girl. I don't, I don't even know. Bernie Sanders. Bernie, you need to drop out now. Well, no, keep around, because you're kind of entertaining. But I think if you had a chance, it was in 2016, and then you decided to kiss Hillary's booty instead of really trying, you got ruined, so bye-bye. Uh, I think you'll be okay. You got a million dollars, you got three houses. Hmm. So really, you love capitalism and you're not a socialist. So sit down and shut up, Bernie. Swalwell, Eric Swalwell. If they ever do a all-male version of The Stepford Wives, Eric Swalwell should be in that movie. There's such a bizarre, I cannot put my finger on it, but that dude just gives me the creeps. It's, the, it's something in the eyes, how they're always kind of big and he's just, and the hair doesn't move and he's like, would you like another pina colada? I'm Eric Swalwell and I'm here to take away your guns. The guy creeps me out. He's like a bad robot from Westworld. Mike Gravel. There's someone running for president by the name of Mike Gravel. I know nothing about you, Mike, but let's find out what you're made out of. President Gravel. It's a little cartoony, but maybe it'll work. Uh, Elizabeth Warren. Elizabeth, it's not gonna work out. It, and, and I'll tell you why right now. <laughs> that's, that's why, that's a big, that's a big fat lie. It's never going away. Ho, oh, do it at home. Ho, oh, ho, oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. Okay. Someone named Williamson. Guy, girl, I don't know. Do something. Tell me who you are. But I could see a President Williamson. That's good. That's a good presidential name. For all I know, we might have already had seven President Williamsons back in 1804. President William passed the Tobacco Act. Blah blah. So maybe you have a chance. Andrew Yang, uh, Asian American fella. And if there's one thing I know about Asian Americans, you, you never count them out. <laughs> He's gonna work hard. He's gonna be smart. Keep an eye out for Andrew Yang. Okay, these are our presidential candidates. I enjoyed this a lot. Just running them down, knee-jerk reactions. But here's what I can say about all of them. What are you gonna do? Like, what's your idea? There's 24 of you people running for president and I haven't heard one idea of like how you're gonna improve the quality of life for Americans other than raising taxes on the rich and then giving that money to the poor. That's like that same old try. We're gonna steal money from these people and give it to these people. Seriously, how are you gonna bring back manufacturing jobs? How are you gonna increase my quality of life? How are you gonna fix the roads? All that great stuff. And listen, when you just say you're gonna steal money from these people and give it to those people, that's not creating. That's not creating anything. You're just moving money around and taxation is theft. <laughs> there, I said it. So what are your ideas? Come up with one. And Joe Biden, that's cheating. You can't say that you're gonna cure cancer if you're elected president. If I'm elected president, I'm gonna invent uh, faster than light travel. How about that? But if, but if not, you know, forget it. I guess we're not gonna explore the stars. I had a blast with this one. I hope you're entertained. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below, theloftestparty.com. I'm Michael Loftus and I approve this message.